Well, hello, that's me again. Today is the April 7th, it is Friday, and as I already stated, things are developing pretty fast. It doesn't mean that everything will come to an abrupt end uh, tomorrow or next month, but uh, it is developing extremely fast considering the scale of the uh, human civilization. So in historical terms, we are talking about the really like instance, a uh, couple seconds, really. And let's start with a simple thing, which uh, I am, again, I want to immediately dissolve, so to speak, any doubts when I say something about the uh, humanities education. It's not that I'm trying to disparage it or look at it with contempt. I'm just, it's absolutely not true. I knew many engineers and even, let me put it this way, academicians who were dumb as, I don't know, as an oak. And I knew a number of people, and some of them are my friends, who have humanities education, but smart, inquisitive people and very, very good friends. So, please, don't miss... It doesn't matter what anybody studies. The only important thing a young person can learn from a post-secondary education is to recognize when a real expert speaks from a spirit of knowledge. Even if a college student fails every course he takes, he'll learn to distinguish fake experts and fake witnesses reading a script on television or a teleprompter speech from real people speaking honestly. Most of their professors are unwittingly brainwashed themselves anyways, but still they predominantly speak honestly to their disciplined audience. He, he laments this because he talks about the West and he forgets to mention, pardon me, that of course it wasn't Russia which was breaking, uh, or who was breaking with the West, it was the other way around. The West uh, rejected Russia, but and uh, as you understand, when you represent this, uh, it is this way, uh, then obviously picture changes. <clears throat> but uh, that's just to demonstrate to you that when I uh, bash, you know, all those uh, Western, <coughs> so to speak, um, exceptionalists, here's another guy who evidently still believes in the West because he doesn't know the West, despite the fact that he worked in some whatever, you know, and he lived somewhere in the West and studied, but obviously uh, he is not Westerner in the sense that he had to live and earn his living. <clears throat> and know the West from the inside out. And look what he uh... Most secondary educations throughout the whole world are brainwashing scams anyways at best, and total falsehoods at worst. Ultimately, the evil of globalism has been inculcated subconsciously into us all, regardless of where we are on this planet. A silent revolution is brewing by people throughout the whole world who are all together realizing that they were all defrauded by our schools following a peculiarly unifying evil spirit that controls all of our elites. We're lucky if we get out of our degrees and diplomas and certificates with only tunnel vision as a side effect. 